All right, where did I leave off? Do we have a tight 30 or loose 30? We didn't try the 30 30. I can't do a 30. Let me do a 31. In, but it's tight. It's definitely 30. This is 26 and a half, which makes it too thin. 26. So that was. Uh, you mean two tens? So this is a 16. It's a 10. Oh, I got dropped to a 7. Up with that. There's one down there. Seven. Four. Twenty-three. At least a seven. It's close. All right. Go with that one. Oh, they're chasing after Scooby. <laughs> they're coming for you, Scooby. Yeah. Yeah, better hide. Yeah, you better get back to that table and hide over there. I'll get your butt. All right, so these will. For all these shims, as you know that, don't you? We have five different shims, only four containers. <laughs> now there's only three you can buy, so it's much easier. Okay, now we got to put it together and see if that'll actually work. How's our inlay on this? We have some. What's that noise? Didn't move very much, did it? Uh -uh. Must be solid. Elbow moved more. Good solid motor. Uh, fire truck. <clears throat> I gotta throw the bomb in the ambulance and hose down the street. <laughs> Virus control. <laughs> Cops go by too, they do a little crowd control while they're down there doing all that work. <clears throat> so, we gotta decide what we're gonna do about those tight cans right there. Correct teeth. 
I was making sure those are the ones that needed to be done. So if we're gonna lap, we're gonna need to lap these two, two, the two gears here to make it good. Okay, we don't need that in there no more. We can lose this. And that goes over here now. Okay, pull that out, pull that out, pull that out. Take our shim stack that we got over there. And we can also put these on this other side if we want to. They don't have to go on that side, they can go on this side here. You put them out here, you can't read them out. The Tommy marks this. Thing. So, uh, they can go either direction, either side. I usually put them on the inside. That gives us more cam clearance to the crank, and it's always a good thing. Yep, wrong one. This goes over here. Scooby pouring his way through again. <laughs> What's wrong, Scooby? Sure, now for the fun part. Oh, these gonna stay in there. They're not. They're gonna fall down. Told you. Need some holding material. And they all line up like they're supposed to. I'm going to put some more screws in here so we make sure it's pulled in good all the way across. Make sure we have accurate dimensions here. Got a little tight. See a little extra torque in there. So whose mouth was off? Not that one. That one's off. Appears to be a little snug. Yeah, just a little bit in that one. And that one's tight too. All right, what did I do wrong? Tight in there. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Tell it is wrong. <clears throat> Just 
tight spot on something. Something is not flat in there. So these two are tight. loose now <laughs> hmm. so what did we do wrong See the tightness. Definitely snug. Yeah. Okay, one of these was a uh, twelve, wasn't it? Not that one. That one. That one comes out. I gotta put your screen in here too. This one was tight too for some reason. This has been tight the whole, you know, the teeth the whole time. So we had what 15 on that one also, I think. Two 15s. Not showing tight here though, so we'll drop three off just in case. We'll come back and check it. If we got a lot of in play, we'll put the other one back in there. So these two had too tight teeth, so I think that's giving some false indication of in play. When the cam doesn't want to move, it's hard to check in. Play. it again. This is why you check it. I don't want to fool with you. What are you doing, Scooby? I 
like that. <laughs> That's way better than last time. You looking over there, Scooby? What are you doing? You looking at that floor? Is that floor running away from you? Scooby wants to go to bed, but he's afraid to. Hey, what are you doing? What are you looking at over there? What? Are they attacking you? Are they attacking you? Play now. Mm -hmm. Look equal. Sitting there. A little tight. We can drop that down to a 10 instead of a 12. And this one when I got real tight. Good moose. So that one I can probably take out that two I put in there. Go back up to a 10 instead of that stupid seven I don't like. So where's our feeler gauge? See how much we actually got in there. I think we got eight in there. Very tight seven. Won't go in. <laughs> Not tight, right? Not tight. That's a six and it drags. So that means we got five right now. So we don't want to take out three because that gives us how much? Eight. No, we take out three. It'd give you an eight gap, right? You said he had five. I got the six in tight, so it'd be nine. Well, if we take out the three, that means we have two. Two to three. So you go from seven to a ten shim? Oh, bigger shim, yeah. yeah. So five goes in there. Nice and, it's not dragging, but there's no extra free play. All right, so we have five on that one. So leave it out at five. Now this one over here. I guess that was closer than I thought it was. Guess we'll leave it alone. Let's see here. I don't think it has ten. So these are all a bit tighter than they were supposed to be. So that one is tight. These all felt about the same, so. Oh, 
I don't think any of these have 10. I'd be shocked if they did. Let's just try eight. Look at eight. Tight. So that's right, our minimum eight. This one's a D8 went in there, so that means it's probably nine. It went any extra. So this one we put uh, a 12 in there. So that could be loosened up a little bit. This one I had, I forget, I think it doubles in it. Okay, so this one needs to be loosened up. These other ones will hurt to be a little bit looser. That one's right at the limit. This is good. <coughs> I'd rather be a bit looser, a little bit tighter. Stuff's going to clearance itself to fit anyway, so no reason to be pushing the numbers. The more clearance you get in there, the more room you got for oil to get in there, which is always a good thing. The only reason I want this one tight is because it changes the uh, circuit timers. And it goes in and out. Oh. That's why I keep it tight. That way your timing's not changing, fluctuating all over the place. I forget what number we put on that. What shims we put on that, remember? Mm, I don't remember. I think I had the seven in there on the Give it a 7 and a 16. Still pretty tight. Okay, goes there. Okay, so this one, we're down to one shim. We took a whole shim out and we're still that tight. What the hell? Hmm. Damn. Not going to be off that far on this one. Cam bulbs get in the way of each other. Big cam. Except this one was 23. We were pushing it. And we got 15 and a 7. 23. So this could be loosened up probably to a 20. I was pushing it pretty tight, but it's runnable, but it's tight. This one's a 28. So 
we have 12 and 16. So that can drop to a 10. Okay, I'll give us two more over there. That one. Where are we at? We need to go to a 12, right? 16. This is what, 23 total? Basically, a 20. This one, 16. <clears throat> and it was, uh, what about eight? That one to a 10. Let's see, that's an 8. That's 16, that'd be 13. Doesn't really matter if it bounces around, so I think that's a good thing. That's a 10. And then this one. Sixteen, sixteen, and twelve floating around. Twelve. So they want to use all these fives and sevens, which wear out real quick. I don't like using. Alright, so I get a little bit there. Put it on you. Got you. I got you. Okay. We'll do one more mock-up. We'll be back.